Welcome back. In this video, we will see how to use MSP430 G2 Launchpad to generate PWM, how to generate pulse width modulation using MSP430 G2 Launchpad. This is a basic circle diagram of MSP430 G2 Launchpad, and this picture contains all the information about MSP430 G2 Launchpad, and you are already familiar with this uh, pinout diagram. As you can see, not all the pins of MSP430 G2 Launchpad can be used to generate PWM, but there are few pins which can be used to generate PWM. As you can see, the purple colored pins can be used to generate PWM, and here you can see analog write function is used to generate PWM. So in this circle diagram, purple colored pins are used to generate PWM. As you can see, pin number 4, pin number 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, and 19. These are the pins which you can use to generate PWM. So these are total 7 pins which can be used to generate PWM or we can generate maximum 7 PWMs or perspective modulations with the help of this MSP430 G2 Launchpad. And we have already seen how to use analog to digital converter A02, A5, A6, and A7. So there are, we have 8 uh, ADC pins and we have uh, 7 PWM pins. So pin number 4, 9, 10, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 19 can be used to generate pulse width modulation. So now what, what we will do, we will use this analog write function to, to generate PWM. As I have already mentioned in the last video, the default frequency of PWM in MSP 430G2 Launchpad is 500 hertz, which is 2 millisecond period. So now we will generate a PWM with the help of one of the pin of uh, PWM, and I will display the duty cycle or PWM or oscilloscope. Uh, as you can see, we have made the circuit diagram. Uh, in the circuit diagram, we have connected a potentiometer. Potentiometer is middle pin is connected with uh, ADC channel 7 and one terminal is with ground and other terminal with VCC. Now what I will do, I will rotate this uh, potentiometer and duty cycle will vary and uh, we are using PWM pin uh, 4 and we will display the PWM on a oscilloscope. So what this circuit will do, this circuit I will just rotate this uh, potential meter and I will vary the uh, duty cycle of PWM accordingly. So now let's write the code of PWM in an RGI IDE and see how it works. This is the basic code and you are already familiar with this code now. <coughs> in this code what we have done, we have first defined pin number 4 as a PWM pin and inside the setup function we have initialized PWM pin as output because PWM is a signal which is going from MSP 430G to launchpad to external world so this is the output pin so we need to initialize pin number 4 and the name of pin number 4 we have, which we have already given is pin PWM pin and we have initialized this as a PWM pin now inside the loop function we are using analog read function and you already know about analog read function now what does analog uh, read function will do? It will read the value of analog volt, analog value from pin channel 7 and store this result in a variable called vol and the type of this variable's integer. Now we will map this value from 1023 to 0255. As you know, the ADC value output is between 0 to 1023. But our analog write function accept values between 0 to 255. So now we need to map this value of, an, uh, of analog read between 0 to uh, 25. This map function is a built-in function in Energia IDE. This function will get the value of ADC, which is which will be between 0 to 1023, and it will give us output in the range of 0 to 225, 255. Sorry. So at the end, what we will do. In analog write function, we need to first we need to specify the pin number of PWM, which is pin number four. Then we need to define 
the, uh, then we need to define uh, the duty cycle of PWM. So we will get that we will get the uh, duty cycle with the help of this uh, analog read function, which is basically a potentiometer in our case. As you can see, here we have connected potentiometer with analog channel seven, and we will read the, this uh, potentiometer value. Then we will map it between zero to two fifty five. Then we will write this duty cycle value in the analog write function. What this function will do? It will it will read the value of ADC, then it will map it between 0 to 255, then it will write the respective duty cycle inside this analog write function. So it will make pin number PWM pin uh, duty cycle according to this value of VAL. So you have already understood the working of this uh, code, and uh, let me explain you again. First of all, we have initialized the pin number 4 as a PWM pin. Then we have initialized this at, as an output. And inside the loop function, we are reading analog input at, at channel 7 of ADC. Then we are mapping the value between uh, 0 to 55 from 0 to 1, 0 to 3. And then we are writing this uh, duty cycle value inside this analog write function. Now let's compile the code. Simply click on verify button and now click on upload button to upload the code to msp 430 gpu launchpad as you can see code is uploading so do we need to select the com port so we have already selected it and we need to select a pro proper microcontroller as well so now click on upload button So code has been uploaded successfully. As you can see, we are getting a PWM on uh, oscilloscope, and this is our uh, variable resistor or potentiometer. As soon as I am increasing or decreasing potentiometer value, the the width of PWM or duty cycle is also increasing and decreasing. As you can see, okay. So this is how we can generate PWM with the help of MSP430G2 Launchpad.